I'm sure you've seen some of the massive grills on some BMW concept cars and new cars that have been revealed within the last 24 months. The grills are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're getting to be of astronomical proportions. But BMW's head designer says, no, no, they're not. They're in direct proportion to the car. BMW's head of design has, he said, oh, you're all complaining. There's controversy. I promise that um, things will be different, but we're still sticking to our guns. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. BMW's designs. They have truth, truly, ever since probably mm, early 2000s, after that, they became polarizing for most people. But they become gradually more and more polarizing. Their electric car designs have been exceptionally polarizing to a lot of people. Some of them are not. Some of them are. Some of them are very, very strange. Now, in response to some criticism, a lot of people saying, uh, you know what, you're making probably a great car, but I just wouldn't get in that thing. There's no way I'd spend $100,000 plus on a vehicle that looks like that. Now, what do you think of this? I mean, I agree with everyone. I think it looks possibly the ugliest car made in the history of mankind. If you can think of something uglier than that, well, well massive kudos to you because I really can't think of anything right now that looks that bad. So BMW's head of design is promising cleaner styling in the future, but they're standing by their current polarizing direction. Although BMW has listened to the criticisms, it is also, it says, listening to sales, which suggests that its design is a hit with the people who are putting their money down. Now, I've seen the sales figures and I'm not convinced that um, it is selling that well. In fact, to be fair, BMW are getting their pants pulled down. They're literally getting their pants pulled down and a smack on the butt because they're getting slaughtered by Mercedes-Benz in Germany, in Europe, and even Audi uh, eating them for breakfast as well, which is, well, maybe a sign of the times, maybe a sign that BMW should look at sales figures, look at their competitors, their other two German luxury brand competitors, and see what they're doing in Europe. So clearly, BMW's designs have been controversial, and maybe it's intentional, I'm not sure. But beyond these massive grills, um, massive kidney grills, just some of the strangest designs I've seen in a long time, some of, some of its designs have been described as ridiculous by past employees, and BMW says it's listening to the criticism, but not going to do anything about it. Yeah, I personally even think the 7 Series doesn't look that great. A lot of the motoring media said it looked fantastic, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't work for me. BMW Group's head of design, Adrian Van Hudonk, recently told Top Gear that the automaker doesn't ignore the chatter. In fact, he said, we hear it, we see it, and he suggested that the company will react. I think in the future, what is going to be important is our design will be cleaner, said Van Hudonk. We will design the grille according to the proportion of the overall vehicle or according to the expression that we want to give it. So the intent here now for BMW is to design cars that have an expression. I'm not really sure what he means by that. However, he's very clear that the current era of BMW brand design, which is polarizing, led by Demargoj Dukek, has not been a failure. It's been a grand success, he says. So despite the criticisms, he said that the company looks at its sales figures when considering design directions and that they look good but it isn't all about reaching. There is a method to the madness. We feel that in our job, we need to keep adding new elements to the design. We cannot keep repeating what we have, said Van Hudok. Sometimes we have to depart and do new things. The reason for this is that we also want to have success in 10 years. I personally wonder if they're designing their EVs to be, some of them, to be very ugly and polarizing because they don't want them to sell a lot because... Uh, they don't make many and they don't really make money on them. Whereas cars such as the BMW X5, which is one of their most popular cars in the world and a really good money maker for them, it, it's not polarizing design at all. It looks quite good. It's nice on the back, nice on the rear. It's a very more of a conservative design. I think it's a fairly muscular design. Most people would say that it's a good looking car. But then some of BMW's EVs, on the other hand, look absolutely hideous. He says that's not just rhetoric, it's practical reality. 
Right now, BMW's designers are working on vehicles that will come out in 2025 and 2026. They'll be on the road until 2033, maybe. So the department has to come up with vehicles that will sell and look good in a decade. To do that, Van Hudonk said his designers have to shift their goalposts. He suggested that BMW is willing to create something that is controversial at first if people agree that it has aged well by the time its mid-cycle update is ready. That's a sign that the vehicle will continue to look good at the end of its life and beyond when it reaches the used market. I'm not convinced on this. I, th I really think over the last 20 years, there's a whole lot of BMW vehicles that haven't aged particularly well i mean maybe if you look at them through rose tinted glasses and you reminisce fondly of the past as we do you know marcel proust sort of remembrance of things past that kind of uh, emotional imagery that we create of things that we no longer have or that were or that once we scorned or that now we should feel lovingly towards I mean, people to do do that but i just don't see that being the case for the bmw vehicles that have been polarizing or just flat out ugly, I don't really think people now think that they're good looking. He says, we have a pretty clear idea of where we're going to go. So it's not like we're experimenting or throwing things out there to see what sticks. Well, I think they have been. He said, it's a very deliberate process. Despite being the head of design for the BMW group, Van Hudonk says that he doesn't view the group or the brand as his. Rather, he is a custodian stewarding the legendary automaker into the future. He wants to build on what came before him, not simply sit on those laurels. So while you can expect the BMW brand's design to keep changing, you shouldn't necessarily expect it to stop being controversial. BMW still do make some good looking cars. I don't think any of their EVs are particularly good looking though. Some of them are flat out dog brick. They look like a dog's breakfast, They're worse than a dog's breakfast in my opinion. Some of their cars, like the one here at the start of this video, they make me feel almost viscerally sick. I don't know about you, but that's my personal reaction to some of them and what Van Hudonk says here I don't think there's anyone that shares his opinion like I mean sometimes you get a controversial car like a Honda Ridgeline right it's weird and you think uh, that's not good looking right but then you get other cars that are just flat out plain ugly and no one that sees them says no 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 it looks good and that's when you know it was a failure when no one likes it I mean Tesla Model 3 is polarizing some people looks think it looks a bit generic Looks a bit odd, a little bubble shaped. Some people really like it. That's when you think to yourself, well, was it a success? Was it not? It's really hard to come up with a conclusion. But like I said, some of BMW's EVs, people just say universally, they look terrible. Sometimes for me, from personally, when I make some of my videos and I do, I think back and I look at it and I think that was not a good video. It's important to be able to self-reflect. And not just pretend everything you did was good because you decide it was good because the general public has to play a part in this. And the truth here is this conceptualizing of BMW's mythical EV sales, it's not really true. BMW isn't really selling many EVs. Like I said, they're getting beaten by their German competitors, both in China and in Europe when it comes to EVs, which are the future of the automotive industry. Therefore, I'm not convinced that BMW are headed in the right style direction. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just missing something. Maybe maybe I'm missing all the positive people loving some of these controversial BMW EV designs. Are you one of them? Do you like these designs? Let me know what you think. For my money, I believe the conservative designs from most brands age better. But that's just me. You think of some of the most classic, beautiful cars that we look back and think, yeah, that's a cool car. I like that. Mercedes SL, for example, very simple, elegant, and relatively conservative looking. Now, some people are saying that Adrian Van Hudonk is actually responsible for the worst designs in automotive history. Now, I'm not sure if I'd go that far, but maybe that's true. What do you think? Other people are saying they're shocked that he's still in charge of the whole debacle. But hey, maybe he's right. Maybe these polarizing designs will sell. Maybe they're attracting people to the brand because they need to be seen. I don't know. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.